Guys, we're back here for round number two, playing some Rackdoll's Land Death. I got a mulligan in this hand. This hand is good, though. So round one didn't go so well, but you know what? That's all right. We're going we're gonna to power through, put that on top. That's a good one for our mold of six here. We don't have any Rackdoll's Carinariums, which I'm really liking. All right, Bloodfell Caves. And pass the turn. What's our opponent on here? Island. Hour of Devastation Island, too. That's pretty nice. Into a Delver. Okay. Well. I think we're just going to try to Chainer's Edict him here. It does work. And we're just going to ship the turn. So next turn. We don't draw a land, we're just gonna Knights Whisper. Another Delver. No second land? Ooh, I like no second land. Excellent. There's a Bajuka Bog. So. Hmm. I actually think I'm just gonna play Bajuka Bog. And, uh, wait till his upkeep on this lightning bolt. I don't think there's anything really can, can stop us here. We might have spell pierce, but I don't think they play that card. Yeah, perfect. Now hopefully we just get to start choking sansing him here, which would be fantastic. I would even I would be even be okay with another Delver here. This is okay too. This probably means he can't counter my choking sands. Found another land into a fairness grant. Okay. It's a Radiant Fountain. Help us against Daze if he has it. I assume he doesn't, but... Boom. Get. Get choked. And pass. Second island. Lucky. I guess I would be kind of okay if he ninjas here. It means our choking sand for sure resolves. Did not. So. I'm actually just going to go for the choking sands again. Really just put the pressure on him. We have a lightning bolt now too. I just assume this is getting countered though. We have spell starter spread. Well, that doesn't count. Right. That does not count, right, my friend. All right. So that's kind of what we're trying to do here, which fairly happy with. Next turn, we have to draw some cards and hopefully stone rain up some more. I think in this spot, I'm actually just going to jam the Lightning Bolt on the Spell Setter Sprite. Because if he has the land and has another Spell Setter Sprite, that could go really badly for me. So I'm just going to take the 1, go to 21. Hopefully he just doesn't have another land. Has a Delver, though. Okay, well that's a clock for sure. Ash Barons, which we will cycle. Got a mountain. Play 
Night's Whisper. The Stone Rain, so hopefully we have that next turn. Here becomes kind of the problem with these kind of effects. He has a board out. He showed us a mound, so he has a mound. That's good for him. Gets in for two. Looks like he has ninja here though. No, no ninja, okay. Well, there's pretty good. I'm gonna leave things off by giving him the old stone rains. Does he have a counter spell this time? It just has a spell step for spread. Okay. Oh, land's still going away, pal. Nice thing is we have Edict. We'll flashback next turn if we draw on land. And actually, if he doesn't put the Delver, we have Ran Rancid Earth is actually just insane now. So that's really good. Rancid Earth is actually a Wrath of God. I don't know why he thinks he can counter that every time. But whatever. Right, and Sacrifice Creature. So I'm, I'm kind of liking this game. But, again, he has a Delver of Secrets, which could end up being very bad for us. We drew another island. Man, man, we're just never lucky. Rancid Earth would be an insane draw. Fairy Macabre is not an insane draw. We are going to cast it though. See what happens. It does brick wall his team right now, which is nice. I like how he showed me the island. I got you. I mean, no. Gush. Gush is a pretty good one. The problem with Gush is that it makes it so we can't kill his lands. Which is pretty bad. He is sending the Delver in, and I will block. Uh, maybe I just block the Spell Slayer Sprite. And next turn, block the Delver. Yeah. Is ninja now? Oh, we have snap. Why would you just snap my guy before then? This is terrible art. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but you just get in more damage. I don't understand what the point of that was. Why wouldn't you just snap my guy pre combat? Anyways. Is he gonna gush now? A man for you to gush now. Gush, gush. He did gush. This guy's got all real bad arts, too. Man. Feels bad. He's got a land and three unknowns. Fairy Miscreant. Alright. Rancidor's still good. Bloodfell Cave is not as good. I will say that. And we're just going to jam out a, uh, a Windrake. We do get to start Chainer eating him, eating him next turn, which is good. But this is tough. He, this deck is quite good. And it does operate on little lands pretty well. There's a Ponder. Just suck four, go to nine. 
suck three, go to six, then block and suck all Well, I guess we have to chainers him on our turn, which is pretty good. So I actually think our position is fine. It's not the greatest, but I think it's fine. Like, I don't even know if he can afford to attack this turn, to be honest. Okay, so he sent in the Aberration. I just think I am going to block. Rancid Earth is always a good draw. Well, I think we're just going to start off with a Chainer's Edict. some sack a guy which is good if we draw a land we get to play Gurmag plus um, flashback the uh, the edict so three lands now is this pirate time or ninja time no ninja yet there's spire golem okay Another Gurmag Angler. I just played both Gurmag Anglers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I definitely can. Okay. That's gonna be the plan. We're just gonna put major pressure on him. So putting this amount of pressure on him definitely, yeah, I think this is much better. Yeah, our board is insane now. He gets to attack over us, but we just get to send for 10 on our turn, which is like pretty good. Fair Miscanus draws him a card, unfortunately. We also get a Chainer's Edict to him, which is nice. We're definitely winning the race. Nine. Not a Spire Golem. Okay. Stick with him is okay. It actually might be what we play here. We are going to send in. So our guys won't block anyways. Just takes it. Okay, well. His one card. Chainer's Eat is better if he has Snap. So that's what I'm going to do. Dangle's a miscreant. He still has five points, but at this point he has to leave something back. Fifth land. Currently has to leave something back, so I kind of feel good about this. So he has a guy to block. Or he just has a snap, I guess. But we get him to use the snap on a Gurmag angle. Because he has to do something where he's just dead. Spike gesture is also pretty good. It just continues to put the pressure on him. But I assume we're, the, the Gurmag Angler is just getting snapped. But he's taken 8 here, which is pretty good. 
Oh, he's a spell setter sprite. Okay. Doesn't matter, it is gonna die. And we need to play Stink Me Damp and cross our fingers. In with the zombie fish. Walks one, goes to five. And we play a little stinky. And cross the fingers. Grimmie English are big. They are very big. What does he have? One who attacks. Probably just sends the two spire golems, I guess. I think if anything, whatever we do, we're definitely getting back this this thing man. So he's just sending one spire golem. I'm definitely walking. This is definitely a, a show of weakness. Uh, Dredge and the Stink Weed Imp also gives us the opportunity to hit a Janer's Edict, which just kills him, so there is that as well. What we hit? He did hit Janer's Edict. And he's on nothing? So this just kills him? Well, that's pretty sick. Oh, yeah. Got there. That was sick, guys. That was real nice. All right, so we want the Electricries. Oh, we want Rope Shaman. We want the Pyroblasts. I don't think we want... You know what? We're going to keep this nonsense Stone Rain stuff in here. I don't think we want the spike dressers. I think they're a little too small. Like we're just gonna win with Gourmet Anglers. <laughs> we probably have to cut one of each. I guess we cut two. I'm sure it's easier to cast, actually. We just can't cut three choking sands. Ransomers are good because they're almost gonna be rats a lot of the time against him. Almost more than swirling sandstorm, but it doesn't hit any of these guys. This terminator is real nice. Man, these seventh edition stone rains. Tough to find tough to find a better better art in a card than this seventh edition stone rain. Alright, so we On the draw. So hopefully this Rats Earth becomes pretty good. I'm gonna keep Horn also kept. He has turn one Delver, which is not good for us. There's a swamp. We're just going to pass and go get a mile or a mountain. Hopefully this thing just doesn't flip. Easy peasy, right? That's how this works. Right, no flip. Right. Right. Perfect. <laughs> Didn't flip. Excellent. So we're taking one. Maybe we're getting ninja? I don't think we're getting ninja. He didn't ninja us at all last game, so. I'm looking at our chances to not get ninja this game. But we're probably getting ninja now. Don't do it. Oh, we didn't get ninja. Excellent. Oh, no, we did get ninja. 
Oh, that sucks. Yep, get ninja. Right. Get an island. A mountain. I mean. Another mountain. We'll give me a little Chainer's Edict. We have to play Stinky next turn. Hopefully Stinky just dies, and we get to Dredge, and then from then on, we get Rancid Earth that's hopefully a Wrath. Stitch Drake. This Drake does not attack into Stinkweed very well. Sorry, that much. Is this thing even that good? Maybe it is. If we have Lightning Bolts, I guess it is. No. Each upkeep. Oh, alright. And a Delver. You should attack me now, though, I think. One time attack? No. Right. Okay, well, I can kill both of his guys if I want. That also kills both of his guys. The key that I find against this Delver deck is you just want to make sure that all their threats at all points are answered. So that's what we're going to just try to keep the board clear. Well, try to keep the board clear, anyways. What does he have here? Very good scrant. Okay. That gets tapped. Another Chainer's Edict, which is not bad. We're just going to keep jamming him. He might have Spell Center Sprite here, I guess. But we get to bolt it if he does. This thing. Spell Stutter Sprite comes into play. And he asks Zach right here. This pile's not very nice to his creatures, you know? Like, he just sends this Spell Stutter Sprite out there to just only get sacrificed. Getting closer and closer. We have to play Gourmet by this turn, too, which is pretty good. Spire Golem. We actually do get to play your Mag Angler this turn. There's Knight's Whisper. I think it's just safer to play the Angler now. We could try and draw the untapped black, but I don't even think there's that much untapped black to draw. This is kind of sad we have to dredge one of our chainer edicts, but we're not going to cast them all anyways. Boom, big fish. This thing hopefully becomes a problem for him. Let's take two here down to 16. No blocks for me, my friend. No blocks for me. 
He has a ninja, eh? Alright. Okay. And Sparkle. Bolt's pretty good. Lights Whisper first here. There's a Bajuka Bog, which I guess we'll play. It lets us start to ran uh, rancid earth him. In with the 5-5. Five, five. Blocks. And we'll bolt this thing. Alright, I'm kind of liking where this game is going. He has a couple too many lands for my taste, but. Uh... We do have a Gourmet Angler in play. Got two there down to 12. Another Spiral, I'm sure. Another stink man. That was a bit dry, actually. Even with the Gurmag Angler. Stinkweed is going to accomplish two things. It's going to make it so our Rancid Earth becomes thresholded. It has this counter spell, I'm sure. Just gonna get it back next turn. Gurmy Angler is doing a decent amount of work as it stands. But we definitely we're winning this race. He has a three-turn clock, we have a two-turn clock. Getting the stinky dip back. We're gonna get in there for a big old five. Snap, sure. So the good thing here is that I can really just get to cast it for basically free due to the stinky dip. So it's really not even that bad. Stinking up again. He now is winning the race, though, so the Stinking Nip does have to resolve. It does. Okay, that's good. I actually think Stinking Nip is kind of a problem for this deck, too. Who knows? He may just have another Curse of Chains, so. We would have thought he would have Curse of Chains the Gourmet Angler, so. Maybe the Stinking Nip is just good enough? I don't know. Man, Grimmie was just so big. What a big mouth. His eyes glossed over, though, so I don't know if you can see that well. And yeah, that's it. Stinky Dip and Grimmie Angler are just too good for the Delver deck. We beat Delver. That's, that is huge.
I'm excited, guys. <laughs> I will see you guys for round number three. Hopefully, we can get a two one. That would be the best. Thanks for watching, guys.